Good morning, guys. What is up? It's Kim Savvy, and I'm back with another entry of Rem Diary. Woo! So, yesterday, because today is actually December 5th, we're going to be recording December 4th's Dream Journal entry, Rem entry, Rem Diary, whatever. Because yesterday, I sat here and I recorded the entire entry, and my phone wasn't recording. Could have had a V8. So today we're going to be talking about that dream. And in that dream, it was a work nightmare. Love that. Don't you just love that? So in my dream, I was working with one of my coworkers who's also another driver, but was like my helper in my dream, which never happens. That That's like not a thing. So we're driving some in this town that is here in Rhode Island, it's in Johnston somewhere, and we were driving down this street and we had to make a delivery to this one house that I know you can't go down the driveway. But I was so like wrapped up in conversation with my coworker that uh, I turned down the driveway and I was like, oh shit, yo, this is the driveway we can't turn around in, ah, ah, ah. Now this driveway is made like a Y. So you're coming down the driveway, this way goes towards the house. This way goes towards like the trees in the woods. So I was like, all right, bet I'll just turn around in the Y and then like make my way come out, you know? So that way I'm like, you know, turning around somewhere. But here's the kicker. I was in an 800, not a 600 truck. Now an 800, I say, is about one fifth times bigger than a 600. Mentally, saying it out loud, you don't think it sounds that, that much bigger real life it's a lot fucking bigger it's like three feet bigger in every aspect almost so I get down to the end of the driveway and I'm at the Y like I'm at the intersection where the Y happens now nor like normally for our job we are told we can't nose into people's driveways so I was like okay I'm gonna nose in towards the trees and then back into her driveway so I go towards the trees and I do it little by little, so I'm going in, reversing a little bit, going in, reversing, because I'm trying to like angle it so I'm not hitting her lawn, even though I'm going to hit her lawn because it's a Y and not like a U. And it's almost impossible to turn around in a Y because of the sharp angles. So I'm trying, trying, and then finally like I go to try it and like reverse, but my dumbass somehow forgot like not forgot but like my dumbass hit gas instead of like break and my truck went and smashed into the fucking tree and I was like oh my god are you fucking kidding me and my coworkers like oh my god Kim what the fuck and I was like this is some shit oh my god so I just finished I, I ended up just reversing all the way into her driveway pulling back out and reversing back towards the tree because at that point, I had to, like, text my manager. So I text my manager, who works inside of the building. He's not even an on-road supervisor or anything. And I was just like, hey, I just crashed into a tree. There's a little bit of white smoke coming out. What do you want me to do? Bing, sent it. And I'm, like, staring at my phone, sent it. And then the neighbor comes outside or, and the customer that I was supposed to deliver to. And they're like, oh, my God, are you okay? Like, what's happening? And I was like, oh, no. Just bumped into the tree. And now my engine is starting to smoke up. Meanwhile, the whole hood of the truck is, like, <laughs> like dented in and, like, up. And they were like, oh my god, okay, well, do you need anything? Do you want to come eat? Do you want to come use the bathroom? Blah, 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 blah. I was like, hell yeah. And my coworker over here is like, no, no, I'm not I'm not going to leave the truck. You go inside. You do what you want to do. And I was like, damn, why you got to be so antisocial to fuck? So I get out of the car. I go in the house. I use the bathroom. I'm getting some snacks. Little boy comes up to me. He's like, hey, my mommy said to give these to you because they're like, they're sugar cookies or something. And I was like, okay, thanks. So then I go back outside. And the, what's you call it? There's a Penske rental truck that shows up. I don't know why. And then there's another driver that shows up. So I guess the driver was driving the Penske rental truck with the mechanic guy on it. And the mechanic guy gets out. He's starting to change the hood, fix the truck, whatever. So I was like, eh, I'll just wait over here. Like, why do I got to go near the truck? Like, he knows what he's doing. So then I'm I'm standing like near the house and the woman comes outside and she's like, this is why I don't like these kinds of drivers. I don't like men drivers. They're so stupid. They don't know how to drive and blah, 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 blah. And then I just looked at her like, you're stupid. Like, like this could happen to anybody. 
And then I told her, I was like, I was the one driving it. And she was like, oh my God, are you okay, sweetie? Is everything fine? Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, yeah. But like that moment made everything so awkward. I was just like, you were just being like super sexist or whatever that's called. <laughs> and then I went back inside and then I had like a slice of cake or pie because I remember cutting it and I was like, yes, bitch. Like I'm over here pigging out. Like I was like, whatever, disregard everything. So then I'm like chilling, eating food or whatever. And then I go back outside and um, the truck is fixed, ready to go. And my partner is, well, not my partner, but my co my helper is just sitting in the truck. And I was like, bro, why the hell didn't you come get me when it was done being fixed? Like, what the hell? You How long you been sitting here by yourself? Like, what? Like I'm confused. And he was just like, no, 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 no. Literally, just they just finished, like, not even two minutes ago. They just left. I swear, I swear. I'm like, okay. And he's like, but I got to go pee, so I'll be right back. And I was like, you, you could have came inside with me that whole time to go pee. What the fuck? And then he, he's going over there and pissing across the street in the woods. I'm like, okay, whatever floats your boat, sunshine. So then we pull out, and as we're leaving the Y, right, at the end of the Y, there's a police uh, police car at the end of it. It was, like, one of the SUV ones. And we're, like, starting to drive by it, but we're not right at the street yet. And I was like, that's weird. Why is there a cop there? That's so stupid. That's weird. And, and I was like, oh, my God, wait, I need to change where we're going because this isn't where we're going. So I grab my board, and I start to look at the map on it. And all of a sudden... My coworker's like, what the fuck is that? What is that? What's happening? What's happening? And then he's like grabbing onto the truck. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then I like look up and like the whole backside of the truck. So say this is where we're sitting and this is the backside of the truck. The whole backside of the truck is literally being pushed like this. And we are being pushed so hard to the point that we're going to be parallel to the street that we're supposed to turn on. And I was like, what the hell, what's happening? Like, I'm on the e-brake, and I'm trying to hit the brake, and nothing's happening. Like, the car is still going, going. He's like, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. And then I was just like, oh, my God. And then we both look out of the passenger door, because the passenger door is made out of two pieces of glass, like the top and the bottom, or plexiglass, or whatever. And we look, and the cop car is right there, and the cop car is pushing our UPS truck. And it's literally pushing us to the point that we're going to, like, knock over. So we're, like, screaming. We're trying to see who's driving it. We're like, is this an actual cop? Like, did somebody steal the car? Like, what, what? But everything happened so fast. So, like, we were, like, trying to hold on to everything. We're like, oh, my God, what's about to happen? Like, they're not stopping. They're not stopping. Oh, my God, oh, my God. And then the truck starts to tip over. So let's say, like, the truck is, you know, this is the truck up ways or whatever. And the, this cop car is pushing the truck so much that we literally go boom and slam on the side of the truck into the middle of the road. And as that whole situation happened, like the windshield shattered, everything shattered, anything that was in the cab flew out the windows. We don't really carry a lot of stuff in the cab, usually like tape or a tape gun, the windshield um, for the snow, like the stuff you wipe to get it off. Like everything just flew out. And somehow like uh, the helper that I was with flew out of the fucking windshield off of the bridge like down into the river and I flew out of the truck into the pavement on top of glass in front of the truck and I like got up and I was like oh my god and I like made my way over to the bridge and I was like hey I was like are you okay are you okay and he kind of was just like uh yeah I'm okay I was like oh my god so he's like trying to make his way back up to the street I, after I checked on him, I turned around to go look at the cop car. Gone. Fucking gone. Like, did I make that up? Was it even there? So the cop car was gone. Like, I don't know what happened. And then the neighbors are coming outside and everybody's like, oh my God, are you guys okay? What just happened? Blah, 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 blah. And I was pissed. I was like, I'm fucking done. I'm going the fuck home. I'm clocking out. I'm calling an Uber and I'm going home. I am not delivering today. This is some bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. Like I was flipping out and my coworker was like, it's all right, Kim. Like, calm down. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. It's fine. It's okay. And I was like, nah, 
fuck that. I'm texting them right now. So I messaged them on the board saying I'm clocking out and calling an Uber. Somebody needs to come get this truck and these packages and deliver the rest because I'm done for the day. And my coworker was like, Kim, don't do that. You're Don't do that. It's fine. It's fine. And I was like, nah, fuck that. And I'm like walking away from the truck. I'm like 30 feet away from the truck. And he was like, he was like not following me, but he was like about five feet away from the truck, like trying to get my attention to come back. And I said, nah, whatever. So as I'm walk as I turn back around after I yelled, nah, whatever, I look in front of me and there's like a little bit, not like hordes of people, but there's like groups of people heading towards the truck. And I was just like, whatever, fuck it, I don't care. And then he turns around and he goes, Kim, Kim, they're right, they're looting the truck, they're looting the truck. And I said, oh, who fucking cares? It's not our problem. <laughs> and he was just like, oh my God. And he didn't know what to do. So he ended up following me. And then I woke up and I was just like, Could you imagine that happening to you on a work day? Like, Lord have mercy. I crashed a truck. They come and fix it. Someone runs us off the road and tips the entire truck over. And then we get looted, 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 looted all within the matter of like five hours in one day. What? <laughs> like, you guys, like. I'm so confused but in my dream I was going through like so many emotions like I was pissed and then I was upset and then I was like what the fuck like like I don't understand what just happened but like yesterday all day while I was driving around at work and stuff I was like paranoid I was like oh my god oh my god I have to pay attention I don't want to hit a tree oh my god oh my god <laughs> like like it was I don't know it was a nightmare, like a work nightmare but it wasn't like a nightmare like obviously demonic and freaking killy and gory type shit but nobody wants to have like crazy ass nightmares about their job like you freaking do your job every day like that's a little scary i don't know <laughs> comment down below if you've ever had a work nightmare um but i'll catch you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell for any notifications for when i do upload i do upload every monday and wednesday at 8 a.m also, comment down below if there's anything you guys want me to do, if you guys want me to try any challenges, tags, or anything extra, okay? Bye.